Game two on Death or again, it's Griffin in the top left. Um, and it's iCred in the bottom right. So, as before, um, iCred in the blue trunks playing Protoss, Griffin in the red trunks um, playing Terran. So, you know, game one, uh, really the, the key turning point was, was that sort of weird move command um, when a large number of uh, the Protoss uh, sort of stalkers and stuff just got shredded by Marines without even shooting back. Um, so yeah, don't don't be don't be doing stuff like that. Um, that, that isn't that isn't good for your uh, for your general progress in StarCraft. Um, standard looking openings happening here. A bit of a an odd gas first um, for Griffin. Am I? Is this actually game one that I'm watching again? I, I ask myself, you know, I don't know. Certainly, it looks awfully similar to Game One, doesn't it? Oh no, no, you got, you don't have any. You've got one. Yay! Look, managed to actually remember to do the best of three. Yeah, um, it does. It looks remarkably similar to Game One, but you know, we'll see. Maybe, maybe it just, maybe they've just done similar builds. It's this building placement. I'm pretty sure that's where he built stuff last time it's freaking me out now i don't even know if i'm like watching the same game if this worker goes across the map and arrives just after the expo goes down and then just hangs around in this corner um then i'm officially gonna quit out of this because uh, it's the same game um i know i think previously the worker walked a different way this is a different game it just so happens that we're building stuff in the same place um yeah, and I don't think there was a forge at the front last time. This is definitely a different game. It just looks very similar. So, um, Griffin is going to be the first to do some scouting. Sees that there is a forge. Um, and, you yeah, know, that's vaguely of interest. It's not that uncommon, though, for uh, a Protoss to, to build a, a reasonably early forge. Um, not sure why you're attacking a pylon. You know, go into the men and have a look around, see if there's anything weird. Um, or, or do that. Uh, yeah, so the Expo uh, timings are not crazily dissimilar. Um, the Terran Command Center is slightly ahead. Uh, interesting that we've got a reactor here rather than a tech lab, a little unusual. Um, normally that would mean that you're gonna try and get some pressure on, that you're gonna, you know, just crank out a really quick sort of 12 Marines or something like that and get them across the map into your opponent's base. Um, before there's any splash damage, before there's any heavy hitters like Colossus or anything weird or Immortals. Uh, get them across the map and, and maybe just lower your opponent's army count or you know, turn up before blink or charge is gonna be done um, and just get really good exchanges, um, really good efficiency trades. Uh, you know, Marines are only minerals, so if you can trade those for gas units, you're winning. Uh, or better still, kill some workers. Um, so who knows, maybe that is what we're gonna see. The tech lab though, on the second racks, uh, sort of suggests that perhaps it isn't, because you can't build marines while you're building a tech lab. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, plus one attack um, is being researched in the forge. Um, and you know, I've said it before, I will undoubtedly say it again. If you're playing Protoss against the Terran, get plus one armor first. Just trust me on that, it's better. Um, the Immortal being built, and Immortals can be useful. Um, they do extremely well against things like siege tanks, they do extremely well against marauders. Um, not that great against marines, but uh, they're not terrible. But uh, because marines do. Um, lots of little bits of damage and they have a high DPS. Immortals don't really do that well against them. Also, Immortals do well against armored stuff and Marines are not armored. Uh, so no bonus damage from the Immortal um, when it's shooting against a Marine. So, worker supply, very similar. Incomes, uh, you know, higher on the mineral front for Griffin. Uh, because he is dropping mules, so that, you know Terran always has that slightly higher income for the same number of workers. Um, so generally, to offset that as Protoss, you should be a bit ahead in workers, and you normally can be because the Protoss um, have Chrono Boost available on their Nexus, so you can Chrono Boost workers out in the early game and build them uh, sort of 50% faster. Um, 
which means in general you can get to a point where you have more workers than your opponent. Um, Zerg can build workers extremely quickly just because of the mechanics of how Zerg works. So to make up for that, Terran gets uh, you know mules that they can drop from the orbital command. Um, but nothing wildly different um, at present. Army supplies are similar, but the Protoss army is quickly becoming more technical with Colossus in production. Um, and you know, even just one Colossus uh, when it comes to fighting Marines is a very useful thing. Um, Combat Shield is being researched this game and I'm, I'm glad to see that it's, uh, it's a very robust upgrade. Uh, it's an important upgrade to have. So uh, you know, we've got the potential here to be building five Marines at a time, but for reasons best known to ourselves, we are not building five Marines at a time. Uh, is it because you're supply blocked? Is that why? There, is, look, there isn't even a supply depot in production. What is Griffin doing? What are you doing, Griffin? Just chilling? You know, I just I wonder sometimes, do, pe do people just like go for a cheeky cup of tea or something while they're playing StarCraft? Is that what happens here? Like, I just don't get it. What, what is it you're doing? What are you doing? Anyway, um, yeah, as I was saying, the Colossus Fair just, they do so well against Marines. It's painful to watch. Uh, one on its own, not desperate, um, but you know, once there's like two Colossus, they're doing serious damage uh, and three Colossus starts to become scary. Um, later again, when you've got like six Colossus, it's just awkward to watch because they just one-shot Marines and it's horrendous. Um, so yeah, uh, what you need though, Colossus are reasonably squishy. I mean, it's a, it's a big unit, it's an expensive unit with a, a long build time. Um, so obviously like it does have a fair amount of health, but they, you know, they're relatively easy to snipe. So uh, what you need, a Colossus on its own, doesn't do that well against anything really. What you need to have is something to tank for the Colossus, something to take shots to the face. Um, so that the Colossus isn't getting shot in the face. Um, and generally uh, that will be, you know, in the form of um, typically some sort of meat shield like Zealots. So charge slots uh, tend to be the preferred meat shield. You get your charge slots out of the front. Um, and because they're melee units and they're fast, the, the charge Zealots um, prevent the Marines from stimming forward and getting within range of the Colossus, um, which is great. So. Uh, let's see, this looks, you know, this is so similar to last time. Last time Icred just right clicked his army across the map um, and that didn't really work out brilliantly for him. This Colossus is not shooting, has started to shoot now. I think there's another Colossus about to come out um, and, and you just look how much damage they do to these Marines. You know what I mean? That's just like brutal, isn't it? Absolutely brutal. So um, Griffin just gets badly owned there. Um, yeah pretty <laughs> it's painful uh so w what he needs to do um to get these colossus you need some marauders in the mix because the marauders just have that longevity they'll take the colossus hits to the face and not mind so much they've got the armor um, and colossus do well against light remember with that splash damage um so you need that vikings uh which are now in production, which is great. Vikings do extremely well against Colossus. Obviously, Colossus don't shoot things in the air. Uh, a weird unit, Colossus, they're so tall. Uh, let's have a peek at this guy. Where is he? Let's have a peek. See how tall he is? Look, absolutely ridiculous height. Uh, they're so tall that they count as both air and ground. Look, whoa, that's the zoom I was after. Look at him, huge. Um, so Colossus are, air and ground units. Uh, so they can be shot uh, by things like Vikings, which normally shoot air only. Uh, and they can also be shot by siege tanks, which is uh, smashing. Both these players get in a third up, um, which, you know, arguably at nine minutes, <laughs> it's a, a little lit, but hey, it's all good. This is all good. Um, Griffin rebuilding his army. Now, uh, Griffin, you have spotted the Colossus and you've sensibly built some Vikings, but you also need medevacs for your Marines. So, you know, how do you build both of those uh, at, at the same time? Uh, I'll give you a clue. Um, you build more starports, simple as that. 
you know, look, look at this. You have enough in the queue here to afford another uh, starport. So uh, just go ahead and build another couple of starports and then you'll be able to get your Medifax out and your Vikings out simultaneously. Looks like iCred uh, is feeling confident and is gonna march across the map with this. I'd like to see some Zealots in here. Uh, zealots are good tank units, they're good meat shield. Um, have your Zealots up in the front of this. Um, you know, they don't cost any, uh, <laughs> they don't cost any gas, um, you know, so you can just dump your minerals into Zealots and, and they do a, a fantastic job of just holding stuff up. Uh, so these Marines are, are not going to fare that well against uh, this. Uh, it, it's so unfortunate that Griffin is engaged in this way because look, he's got siege tanks and he's, he's got, um, you know, he's built, hang on, look, that, that's quite a lot of Vikings. Th those Vikings will two shot a Colossus, um, but they were over here. So <laughs> uh, this siege tank can do, you know, very, very well against these stalkers. Um, and well against everything siege tanks are just good units um if it's appropriately sieged up and stuff and actually in the battle but it's not it's over here uh, so and half the marines are over here the, the last thing you want to do in an engagement is send like a, half your units in because it's just miserable um you know it's a game of numbers so uh, what those marines achieved was they removed some of the shields from some of the protoss units and they all died and look that is quite gnarly isn't it that red glowing glowingness is in fact just toasty marine. Look, some charred marine remains there. That is pretty grim. Look at this guy, all toasted and molten in the uh, War of the Worlds Colossus death rays. Just fried them all up. That is, that is nasty, is what that is. This guy, he's just ash, just toast. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Good. Uh, bits of command center flying through the air and stuff. But you know, if these guys had been involved, um, particularly these fellas, uh, they they could have done really quite well. But you know, they weren't. So it's GG. And excitingly, that means it's one game apiece and we're gonna be into uh, some sort of decider. Happy days.